we can use the chain rule to take the derivative of a composition, even when we don't have three variables. To be able to do this, you have to recognize that a composition is occurring. So say f of x is two times the sine of x squared plus x minus one. We know how to take the derivative of the sine of x we don't know how to take the derivative of the sine of this polynomial. But suppose you recognize that this is composition. We're taking the sine of a function. To take this derivative, using version one of the chain rule, you'd say, well, this is the sign of a function. Let's give that function a name. Let's call it Z. Then if we use y equals instead of function notation, y equals twice the sine of z, and z is x squared plus x minus 1. This derivative that we're looking for using Leibniz notation is dy dx. And the chain rule says that's dy dz times dz dx. If y is a function of z, z is a function of x. We want the derivative of y with respect to x. We just take this derivative and this derivative and multiply them together. The derivative of 2 sine z is to the cosine of z. I wasn't kidding in the last section when I said you needed to master these derivatives fast. The derivative of x squared plus x minus 1 is 2x plus 1. And something's wrong here. We're taking the derivative of y with respect to x. Our variable is supposed to be x. And it is x here. We have 2x plus 1. But what's this cosine of z? Well, we ran into the same situation in our first example in the previous video, we can write z in terms of x. The derivative we get then is 2 times the cosine of x squared plus x minus 1 times 2x plus 1. 
So that's how you can use version one of the chain rule to differentiate compositions. I don't want to dwell on this topic, however, because it would be more usual to differentiate compositions using version two of the chain rule, which we will now present. 